Help, Lord, for the godly man ceaseth, for the faithful fail from among the children of men. They speak vanity, every one with his neighbor. With flattering lips and with a double heart do they speak. The Lord shall cut off all flattering lips, and the tongue that speaketh proud things. Who have said, With our tongue will we prevail. Our lips are our own. Who is Lord over us? For the oppression of the poor, for the sighing of the needy. Now will I arise, saith the Lord. I will set him in safety from him that puffeth at him. The words of the Lord are pure words, as silver tried in the furnace of earth, purified seven times. Thou shalt keep them, O Lord. Thou shalt preserve them from this generation forever. I just read Psalms chapter 12, verses 1 through 7. May the Lord add a blessing to the reading and doing of his word. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Welcome, everybody. This is uh, part two to curses of the Bible. And I'm not going to waste much of your time. I'm going to get right to it because I last left off in part one with one of these curses that it is so evident. It points to no other nation of people. And let's get to it right now. It's Isaiah chapter 42, verse 22. You see those brothers? Look at all those brothers, all them Negroes, all them, all them descendants of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Isaiah 42, 22 says, They'll be snared in holes and hid in prison houses. And who fill up the prison houses? Black folks, Negroes. And why are they filling up the prison houses? Because ain't nobody teaching them to keep God's commandments. You know what I'm saying? In John chapter 14, verse 15, Jesus say, If you love me, keep my commandments. But, 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 ain't nobody, everybody claim they love the Lord, but they ain't keeping his commandments. And then on top of that, you got others. They want to pick and choose which ones they want to keep. That's a problem. That's why we are snared in holes and hid in prison houses. Now, um, let's go to Deuteronomy chapter 28. Let's, let's, let's show you some more of these curses. You know, it, it baffles me that, that people say, so-called holy men and women of God, you know, say, oh, the Holy Ghost going to guide me. <laughs> the, the Holy Ghost don't come to you like that anymore. He, he, he did that, but he stopped it at a set time because I'm going to show you that. It may not be in this video, but it might be in the next one. He, 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 the Lord say, there, there is no remedy, meaning he didn't try it. He didn't try to deal with this people for a long. He chose you to be a, whole, a kingdom of priests and a holy nation. But they don't want to do right. He said no remedy. And, and the Bible shows you when, when the Holy Ghost comes to people, fear falls upon them. You don't get all happy and start jumping around. You scared. So don't believe them. <laughs> don't believe the false prophets. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 25. Here's another example. Verse 25. The Lord shall cause thee to be smitten before thine enemies. Thou shalt go out one way against them and flee seven ways before them and shall be removed into all kingdoms of the earth. <laughs> You're going to be removed into all kingdoms of the earth. And that's what happened to us. That's exactly what happened. You got, you got some of my Hebrew brothers and sisters out here talking about the 12 lost tribes been found in North America and South America. And that's only one. That's only one particular hemisphere of the earth. We've been scattered all over the world. From generation to generation. So don't believe that lie. Matter, matter of fact, in the in the in the book of Esther, 
You could read the very first chapter, the very first verse. During the Medo-Persian captivity with Ahasuerus, better known as Xerxes if you ever watched the movie 300, that his kingdom stretched from India all the way to Ethiopia. So if the 12 lost tribes been found, why they ain't include none of those territories? Because we still over there. I guarantee you that. So quit perpetuating that lie, my brothers and sisters. You know what the scriptures say about men who, who teach men lies? <laughs> I'm going to get into that later. You know, another thing. They, they, they say, the, they say the, that we, uh, we, we was brought over here in America in 1619 as slaves and, and we gonna gather ourselves well hold up we've been gathering together for years and years and years and what has it done no the scriptures say the lord gonna gather us and as a matter of fact uh i've done my research and, and, and it's been it's, it's shown and proven hold up christopher columbus came over here with slaves way before 1619 so you like a couple of hundred years off, my brothers and sisters. So wake up, stop perpetuating that lie. Look, here's a section of the, here's a, the Medo-Persian captivity. It says from, when you read the book of Esther, it says it stretched from India, here's India, and all the way over there to Egypt, I mean Ethiopia. That's a lot of territory to cover, and you you ain't found none of the lost tribes up in there. That's a problem. That is a major problem. Let's get back to the curses. Verse 29, And thou shalt grope at noonday as the blind gropeth in darkness, and thou shalt not prosper in thy ways. Hold on. Who is that? What are they doing? They hanging out. That's what groping is. It ain't got to be just a liquor store. It could be a retail store, a grocery store, any public place. Israel is groping. Ain't nothing changed to this day. Here's another example. In this example, you got, you got young men, old men, young women and old women hanging out, groping. The curse is pointing to nobody else but you, Israel. It's evident. No, the Holy Ghost is going to guide you, okay? No, you better read this book. You better read these scriptures. <laughs> because, <laughs> because, hey, the Lord don't come to you like that no more. He going to show you who you are as a nation of people based on signs and wonders. And that's a sign and a wonder right there. Verse 30, thou shalt betroth a wife and another man shall lie with her. Didn't that happen to us after the transatlantic slave trade? Is slavery in America? <laughs> the slave masters slept with our, our women? <laughs> okay. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna get upset on that. Uh, verse 68. Let me skip now for sake of time. Verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. What? How you gonna get there? He, he said, what does Egypt mean to us? Bondage, slavery, captivity. And how are you going to get there? By ships. Okay, this is our homeland right here. You ain't got to get on no ship to go over into Egypt. You can walk over there. <laughs> he said, you're going to get there in ships. That's why you had the transatlantic slave trade, which helped... You was already scattered with the nine tribes. You, you, you kept disobeying, so he going to scatter you some more. And that's when the transatlantic slave trade came in. Because Israel still didn't want to do right. You know, it's, it's, it's a shame. People always talking about my friend, my friend, my friend. Everybody know who you are except you. But are they telling you? No. They ain't telling you who you are. You can't sugarcoat the word of God. People don't like what I'm saying, but it's the truth. Grace and peace multiply to everybody. I hope you had a wonderful day. Stay strong in the Lord and the power of his might. Putting on the whole armor of God. Stay strong.